Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm gonna to be talking about something that was very, very special, limited edition, and I just could not pick it up because I love brushes. So I'm gonna be talking to you about Ray Morris and this is her travel set which has been a limited edition one that she's done with a very special collaborator. I'm very, very excited because I've never tried Ray Morris's brushes before. I'll give you a bit of context as to who she is. I am going to demonstrate how these brushes work. So that's why I have a face that has no makeup on just yet. This collection I picked up after having seen it on her website. Renowned as one of the most influential makeup artists in the world, Ray Morris is not only a number one best-selling author, but also four times Australian Makeup Artist of the Year, the longest serving makeup director for L'Oreal Paris 2003 to 2013, and has been inducted into the multiple halls of fame, collaborating with some of the world's leading photographers. Ray regularly works on editorial covers, and fashion and beauty features for magazines such as Vogue, Harper's Bazaar and ID Magazine. So basically Ray has also done a book which he did in 2008. Ray is also the designer behind the Ray Morris magnetic brush range which is what I'm going to show you today. The first magnetic brush range in the world which has been acclaimed as not only the most innovative but one of the best makeup brush ranges in the world. She's been called undeniably the biggest creative beauty force in Australia. Ray Morris is a definition of a makeup artist and that was by Box Magazine. Magazine. Ray was born in Brisbane, Australia. This came all the way from Australia. I didn't have to pay customs. I thought I'd let you know. This was a lot of money and I don't think I'll ever spend this amount of money on brushes again. This was something that I just wanted to pick up as a collector's item but also use as well. Now I believe Ray Morris is also sold in Space and K so what I will do is I'm going to start collecting some more of her brushes in the normal size because I really am impressed with what I've seen from the travel size. So the set that I picked up is the Pro Travel brush set. It's limited edition, there are 10 pieces and it retailed for £696. Yes, that is a hell of a lot of money. The way that I was able to afford this was I'm paying in installments because it is a lot of money to pay in one go. The first batch that was released has now sold out and there's a second drop which is coming soon. So this is why I wanted to get the video up in case you were interested. So it's a world first collaboration between Ray and Japanese brush master Yoshiki. The limited edition pro travel set comprises of 10 travel brushes including five completely new brush designs and three of our most popular brushes from the core range now in travel size. This limited edition set features red black handles embossed with the Ray Morris and then it's Yoshiki logo in gold. The pro travel set comes with a custom sized Ray frame enclosed in a vegan leather case which now also fits full size brushes. The case is reversible allowing the choice of either red or black. The specifications is this set includes the following brushes and it tells you the height brush length for each of them. There is a 1.5 pointed kabuki brush, which is a new design, a four flat kabuki brush, a new design, a 7.6 detailed creme shader brush, a nine detail point shader brush, an 11 medium oval shadow brush, 11.1 small oval shadow brush, there's a 16.5 deluxe brow definer, there's a 22.5 flat powder brush, a 24.5 cream applicator brush, a 27.5 micro radiance brush, and there's the pro travel frame and the pro travel case, which is vegan leather and it's fully reversible so you can have it red or black. The pro travel frame dimensions is 18 centimeters by 10.5 by 5.5 and fits regular size brushes so this is really good for if I want to use it to put other brushes in that's fine as well. So it's a micro crystal fiber vegan featuring a unique crystallized structure so this is the hair type that perfectly mimics the cuticle structure of natural fibers enhancing product pickup and evenly applying and blending liquid cream and powder formulation 
formulation seamlessly. These unique fibres have an antibacterial rating of 99.9% and are vegan. And it just said PBT Synthetic Brushes 16.5, which is the Deluxe Brow Definer, and the 24.5, which is the Cream Applicator Brush. They are both PBT Synthetic. The handle is Hard Maple Cherry, which is sourced in Japan, FSC certified, and it features Ray Morris's World First Magnetic Functionality. It came in this beautiful packaging in this Ray Morris box. It's embossed, really, really beautiful. That you've got Ray Morris sticker there. And this was the first purchase I've ever made from her. So it was a bit of a shock as to how it was going to come. When I opened it, I got a lovely surprise. I actually had a handwritten message from Ray herself. And it says, To Amra, love Ray. And she's put a kiss on it. So I'm really, really happy that she kind of put a personal touch to this delivery. When I took it out of the box, it came in a drawstring bag. I've actually turned this inside out already. This is red, but you can actually flip it round and then have it black. That's what they mean by fully reversible. So you open it up and it's got this sort of magnetic closure. So you flip it open and then that's what happens. And then you see the brushes inside. Now, each of these brushes have been carefully wrapped. So I wanted to show you that before I put it on my face and demonstrate it. But you can flip these down and this is how it looks, the case. So you can see that this isn't going anywhere. The brushes are perfectly in the frame because they're stuck down by magnets. Let me show you how the leather case looks. So you've got the black side and then you've got the red side. And I thought having it on the red side was pretty cool. So I've kept it on the red side, but it's fully reversible and you can fold it the other way like so and then you literally close it like that so that would be on the inside and then that would be black instead of red so very very cool this frame is really strong and sturdy i'm just taking everything out so the way they all fit is on this frame so i'm just going to go off camera now and i'm just going to unravel all of these for you first i have put these in the order that they are on the website because I thought it would be easier. Look at how good this is. This doesn't move. It's magnetised. How cool is that? And it fits in this section as well. And at the top here, it says Ray Morris. But I just thought I'd show you on the top shelf because I was just so impressed by how cool it was. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through each individual brush. I'll tell you what it's supposed to do. And then we are going to do the second part of the video, which will be applying these so you can see how they look. So let's take each individual brush and let's have a look at what it's meant to do. We're gonna look at this one first, which is the first brush in the list. And this one is brush number 1.5. So this is how it looks. It's quite small, as you can see. Luckily, I have quite small hands. If you are bigger than I am, I'm five foot two. I don't know whether these will be too dinky or too small for you. This is how the brush looks. And then you've got that gradient I was talking to you about with the Ray Morris and Yoshiki, which is written here. It's such a lovely design. And then you've got the brush here, which is this gorgeous sort of white haired brush. All of these brushes are vegan, remember? So they are not animal hair, but they feel absolutely so soft. This is the 1.5 pointed Kabuki brush. It's a new design and the height is 92 millimeters. So that should give you some kind of context. That is how it looks. So just so you can see in terms of comparison, these are Sonia G's brushes and they are smaller than the Sonia G ones. So this is the travel ones that I bought, but you can see for context that if I were to put them side by side, that these are smaller much smaller and then you've got the larger size so this is kind of how it looks like as a tier if i put that level that's how they differ in size so they are small they are travel just so you know so there isn't much description on what this brush does because it's a new design but it says the perfect application of ray's world's first magnetic functionality the compact size of the brushes makes them ideal for travel perfectly weighted and even easier than a full-size brush to use they fit precisely into the mini travel frame, which is what I showed you, which combines with the vegan leather travel case to fit neatly in your handbag or makeup bag. A must have for any makeup lover who enjoys traveling light and staying organized, allowing you to have all your essential makeup brushes with you whenever, wherever you go. I probably use this like a blush or a highlighter to put here and here, just because of the way that it's shaped and it's slightly pointed, which means that I can get into areas where I need to. So that's how I would use this brush. 
So let's move on to the second brush. This one is called Four, and this is the Flat Kabuki brush, and it's a new design. And this one has a height of 90 millimeters, so slightly smaller than the previous one. It's a bit more flat. Again, for application of products where I want the product to be a bit more flatter, I might not want to buff it out as much, but just target it in areas where I want it to go. And I like the way while I'm testing this out now that it fits really well on my cheek. This is the number four brush and you'll see that behind it there's a little number there and you can see that this is more flatter. You know you could use it as a highlighter, as a blush brush, lots of ways. Right so we're moving into the slightly smaller brushes now. This is the 7.6 detailed creme shader brush. It's 70 millimeters in height so it is pretty dinky, smaller than the other two. So again the detail on the handle is just stunning and it is really really cute. What I like about this is that it's pointy and sometimes you want to get into the inner corner of the eye or just under the eye just where the liner is. Get into areas where you need more detail and I think this is perfect for that. I would probably use it like on the inner corner and maybe under the eye just to give some definition. This is so cute and this also has the number at the back which is 7.6. The next brush is the first one where it's got a more darker tip and this one is the 9 detail point shader brush new to the travel and the height is 73 millimeters I feel like it's getting smaller and smaller these brushes but luckily my hands are still very small and I can still hold this and still get the detail that I need similar to the brush that I had before I would use this for detailing you can see how there's a tip here so very pointy you've got the Ray Morris and Yoshiki there and then you've got the number at the back such a gorgeous design okay so we're moving on to the next brush this is the 11 brush this is the medium oval shadow brush it is in the height of 74 millimeters so slightly longer than the previous one I mean I would use this brush as like a shadow brush most likely to put the color on my lid because of the way that it's designed and it's very dinky very small I really like it it's a lovely brush to travel with this is the next brush and it's got the white tip and you can see from the side that it's a flat brush. So, uh, now we're moving on to the next brush. This one has the more darker tip. Again, this is 11.1. .1. It's a small oval shadow brush and it's new to the travel set and it's 75 millimeter, so slightly longer than the previous one, but this one is again a flat brush. Detail, detail, detail. I love these little brushes because sometimes you really want to get into the nooks and crannies and this is perfect. So this is the brush up close, you've got that there, and then you've got the side profile, it's gorgeous. So we're moving into the final brushes, this is a brush number 16.5 and it's the Deluxe Brow Definer and it's new to the travel set. The name is in the name and it is a brow definer so great for really kind of getting into areas of the brow that you want to with this. I like the shape of it, I like the fact that it kind of slants there. So this is the brush, it's got a lovely tip and lots of detailing, love it. Right, so we're moving into the final three brushes. This is a more larger size one. This is a 22.5 brush and it's the flat powder brush. Exactly what it says on the tin. I would use this as a kind of all over powder brush. I think it's fantastic for that. It feels very loose. The texture of these, the material is just so soft, super, super soft. As you know, I did a recent review on Wayne Goss's brushes and Wayne Goss's brushes kind of came to around 188 pounds, so just under 200 pounds. This obviously is three times the amount. However, I can see the quality in the way these brushes are made. These ones feel a lot more softer than Wayne's brushes and I think this truly mimics the kind of natural brushes that we all used to. I think this is why these are so quite dear. This is 95 millimeters so we're getting bigger. This one is a new design so this is how it looks and oh, I do really like this brush. Feels very very soft, nice and fluffy, great for powder, fantastic for powder. 
so we're moving on to our final two brushes. This is brush number 24.5. It's the Cream Applicator Brush and it's a new design and it's specifically designed for cream. And I can see why. It reminds me of the sort of foundation brushes you get, the larger ones that are flat and are designed for applying foundation on. It's just this sort of smaller size. I really like this. And this one measures 90 millimeters so we're getting a bit bigger so this is how it looks i love this i love the tip i love the design very very lovely and i can imagine using this for foundation 100 percent so we finally reach brush number 10. This is the 27.5 Micro Radiance brush and it's a new design and it's 83 millimeters, so slightly smaller than the previous brush. I like the way this feels. I mean, I've got an idea of how I want to use this, but it's a lot more firmer in texture and the tip, they seem to be more tighter, the bristles compared to the other ones. So I'd have to really think about how I would use this. I guess when I really want something that's kind of fixed and in a particular place, because the bristles are so tight, that will give me that kind of impact that I want to create sort of a different look. So I really, really like this. This is the final of her brushes in the set. It's absolutely stunning. And you can see that the bristles are a lot more firmer and that's like the side profile. Every time I've spoken to you, I've just put it in the lower part of the frame. I just love the fact that this is so easy to use and so travel friendly. It's not light the frame. So what I would do is probably use this if I was going on a trip that wasn't like long haul unless I had the weight. I think the weight would come from the frame itself rather than the brushes. So there's an opportunity for you to take it away without using the frame and there's also the opportunity to use the frame and if you are kind of able to take it as well you can put the brushes on the magnetic frame and then it will stay. These are really really beautiful and I love the design. They're really 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 pretty and I love the fact there were some new designs as well so the technology I'll show you how this works so at the tip you can see there's a magnet on each of these brushes and that's how that holds onto the frame I remember reading about this and Ray said she was really surprised when she created this because no one else was doing it and I haven't seen any brand that's done this I think she's probably painted the actual technology behind this it's very very clever and I had always heard about Ray Morris's brushes but I never bought any this is really exciting for me. So I haven't got anything on my face at the moment. We're not going to be talking about the makeup today. We're going to look at how these brushes perform. So we're starting off with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and I'm just going to put it on my face directly and put it in the areas where I want that sort of glow to happen. I'm going to take her brush that we looked at which was 27.5. I'm just going to use this brush to apply the makeup. And remember I said that this brush I suppose looks quite like tight. So I don't think it matters as much how I apply it, but I just wanted to show you what I would do with this flawless filter. So I'm literally putting it all over my face, taking the brush and just taking any remain and just moving it down. I really hate it when I use a brush because obviously this is white and so I'm gonna have to give it a good clean afterwards, but it really feels nice on the skin, just FYI, and fits really nicely in my hand, even though it's small. I really like this color. I don't even think I need to go to number three because it's like my skin, this particular flawless filter. So it kind of blends seamlessly. Just take the excess and I'm just going to put it in the areas where I need more coverage. It's just giving my skin a lovely kind of glow. I might go in with a tad bit more, taking the doe foot. So it's really distributed the product evenly on my face, which I really like. And moving it around my face doesn't seem like hard work. It sort of fits perfectly in my palm. 
So I've got a lovely glow going on. I haven't put on any foundation yet. So that's just prepped my skin. We're now gonna go into the next part. I picked up the Laura Mercier foundation that I reviewed a while back. And I'm just gonna put two pumps on my hand. I'm really excited to try this brush. This is the brush that I mentioned, the 24.5 brush. So I've put it on my hand and I'm just taking it and applying the foundation. So it's really distributed the product lovely around my face. That was two pumps that I used earlier. It's felt really nice actually, really lovely. So that is the second brush that I've demonstrated. So what I thought I'd do next is put a bit of concealer and I've got my terracotta concealer from Guerlain that I recently reviewed. Again, this was a doe foot, so just have to be careful when you pull it out. I'm just gonna put some under my eye. I'm gonna take this little brush here and apply it. So I'm taking the brush, which was the number 11 brush, and I'm just gonna use that to get into the crevices of my eyes where I want the concealer to go. Very lovely application. Can you see how my skin still looks really lovely and natural? So it's taken the product and really sort of seamlessly blended it into my skin. And you can see how nice the finish is. I like to take sometimes the actual concealer and just put it on the lid as well, just to prepare the lid for the eyeshadow. And that fits really well into the socket of my eyes. I'm really impressed with that. I can imagine using this on the go, very much so. And it, like I said, fits perfectly into my hand. I was a bit worried at first, but actually I'm using it with ease and I'm gonna try another brush. So as you probably remember, I did a review on this and it's the Coral Flame from the New Dior Summer Collection. I will try and leave a link above because this collection was stunning, but I thought I'd take it out again and use these brushes to demonstrate how good they are with this. So let's take a look. I'm gonna take the brush number 11.1 .1 and I'm gonna apply this eyeshadow. So I'm going to use this other brush now because I feel like I want to just put some colour in the corner of the eye and blend it a little bit. So I'm going to take the number 9 brush, but first I'm going to take the number 11.1 .1 and just take that brown and put it on the outer V. Just putting it into the socket of the eye, blending it out. And then using this other little brush, which is the number nine brush, I'm literally going to blend it just to get into the eye socket. So I've kept it really easy. I love the effect that these brushes are having already. So I'm going to take this smaller brush because it's got that detail in it and it's the number 7.6. Remember how I mentioned earlier that I like to take it under my eyes. So I'm going to take that brown and take it at the bottom. And this is small enough to kind of go at the bottom of the eye and kind of line the bottom part of my eye. And again, taking this brush, same brush, just try to line the top part a little bit with the brown. Then I have this lovely kind of peachy color. I'm going back in with the other small brush, which is number 11.1, .1, and I'm taking that peachy color. I'm just gonna put it on the kind of center part of the lid. I forgot how much I like this palette. It's really pretty. I'm just adding a little bit of colour to the lid and I think I might take that gold in the corner and I'm going to put that on the inner eye just to make it pop a little bit and then kind of any remaining part just put on the brow bone it fits perfectly in the brow bone so I've taken the highlighter and highlighted the inner corners of the eye. I'm loving how this looks. I've got that last shade. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the corner shade on the right. 
of that palette there to finish off and just add a little bit to my lid. It just needs a little bit of definition. So I'm just gonna go off, add some brow, mascara, and a little bit of liner, and then we'll come back and use the rest of the brushes. Okay, so I've just gone off screen and I've added some definition around the eyes. But what I wanted to do is I've gone a bit strong on the brow because I wanted to show you the brow brush. This is the brow definer brush I was talking about and it's in the number 16.5. And I'm gonna take the brow definer and I'm gonna just use it to take the product that I put on just now and give the brow a bit more definition, but blend it out using the brush. Normally I take the other side of the brush to do this, but I wanted to show you how this would work if you did it using this brush. It's definitely making my brows a lot more tidier and I'm just taking the product and I'm kind of following my natural line where the brow wants to go. So you can see that it helps to define the brows and just give them a fuller shape and some direction using it. So you can see how it's gone into a lovely arch on both sides, taken the product and done that. So yeah, I'm happy with the result there. Very, very nice, this one. So would you believe I have three brushes left, so we're almost done. I think we're missing some cheek and some lip. So before I do that, I'm just gonna add a little bit more definition on the eyes, just now that I can see a little bit more. I'm just going to take that brown, the darker one, and just take it onto the socket. Give it a little bit more definition on both sides. And you can see how I kind of move the brush around. So I've just kind of intensified it a little bit more. So let's look at the final brushes. So you might remember that I did a beautiful review on the Guerlain haul which was one of my favorites that I've done most recently. And I picked up their Super Bloom, which had that gorgeous pink in the inside, but then that pink disappeared once I started using it. But I wanted to show you this on my cheeks using these brushes. I did intend to use this brush as a powder brush, but this is kind of like a powder. So I think we can get away with it. So this is the number 22.5. So I'm gonna take this and show you how I would use this. I would take this product and I would just go in with the brush and literally do a 360, getting all the color out. And then I would put it onto my cheeks, so. You can see that it's really hitting the cheeks beautifully and giving me that color that I need. So going in, I always feel this completes the look when I do this. I love the scent. It's a really gorgeous scent, this. You can see how I'm kind of taking the product and just putting it on my cheeks and it's creating this gorgeous look and I'm just intensifying it. It's working so well, this brush, I really like it. It's just stunning. You can see that it's giving a lovely, kind of gorgeous look, and it worked really easily. Everything's blended seamlessly. It's really, really lovely. So we are literally on to the last two brushes now and I wanted to show you the Fenty highlighter on top of all this because these brushes should hopefully bring out the colour. Technically I can use either one of these brushes. I kind of want to use one side with one and one with the other just so you can see because I'm literally coming to the end now and it's just the lipstick. So let's take this brush which is the number four brush and I'm going to go in to that highlighter and put it on this side of the face first. Oh wow, can you see that? <laughs> oh goodness me. I should have kind of gone a little bit less heavy handed but you can see what I'm talking about. I think I've gone a little bit crazy. Immediately you can see how well this brush works. It's beautiful, look at that. Oh my God. I thought maybe I'd show you me calming it down because I've got the foundation on the brush here and I'm just gonna go in and just put it where I want it to be a little less obvious, but you can see that's much better. I think I went a little bit crazy. I really wanted to show you how good it was. But yeah, you can see that, I mean, my God, it's glowing, glowing. Let's do exactly the same thing, but using the other brush, and I'm gonna be a bit less heavy handed. This is the 1.5 brush. So we're ending it on a high, and I'm just gonna put it where I'd like it to go, just 
putting it here. I mean, look at that. It's just blinding. It really is. I mean, even on a light hand, I'm getting the payoff. It's picked up the product so beautifully. You can see it there. I'm so impressed. You know, sometimes when you travel with travel brushes, you get a little bit disappointed because you feel like you're never going to get the same finish as a bigger brush. But this has blown my mind. I'm just going to calm it down a tad here just to make it a bit more even. So it's similar to the other side and just taking the excess of that foundation brush and just calming it down a little bit. But you can see the finish is just absolutely beautiful. Really, really gorgeous. Okay, I'm just gonna take some of this lip oil, which is the one that I reviewed again, and it's in the poppy coral color. I'm just putting it on my lips, just to give it a little bit of color. But today was just really to demonstrate how good these brushes work alongside these products on my skin. I am really, really impressed. I think you'd agree that this does not have a bad application. It picks up the product so well. I'm really, really impressed. So what I thought I'd do was finish off with a golden oldie. This is something that I have had for a while and it's one of my favourite translucent powders. It's the one from La Prairie and it's the Skin Caviar one and it's in their shade Translucent 3 and I remember picking this up during lockdown and loving it so much that I bought a backup. Basically what I tend to do is just bring out the product, tap it out like that onto this part. I'm going to take that lovely brush that I mentioned earlier, which is that number 22.5, which is that powder brush. Tap a little bit of excess off and powder the T-zone because today is an extra, extra hot day. So I thought, let me use this to demonstrate how the powder works, but also how this brush works to apply it. I mean, this is where I get sort of oily and hot and so what I tend to do is before I go out and it's you know in the evening and I don't want that to be a oily t-zone situation I take this powder and I put it all over my skin. Brush is just superb you can see how it's moving on my face. So this is the finish with the powder in the t-zone using the brush. This is the Ray Morris travel set all completed, all 10 brushes. And let me give you my final thoughts. What can I say? I am absolutely chuffed. I love these brushes. They are amazing. I have travel size brushes, but this is like the creme de la creme of travel size brushes. You would probably agree how beautiful the finish is on my skin. Everything that I used, all the brushes that I used, applied the makeup on beautifully. It was great to kind of bring out some old favorites, some of the ones that I've tried before, and kind of show you how it looks on my face. And I absolutely love it. I am so happy that I picked this up. It's sold out, like I mentioned, but they're bringing out another drop. So I'll leave the link below and I'll try and put on my Instagram and my YouTube and let you know when this is being launched again and when the second drop will be if you decide to pick it up. This is limited edition, so I don't know if she's gonna bring it out again. I live in the UK, I had this shipped to the UK. Customs seem to be okay, I didn't have to pay any extra customs. I would drop them an email if you do live abroad and you're buying it and check what the cost of the item might be for customs charges. That Sometimes you can work it out yourself, but that's the thing that prevents a lot of people from buying things from abroad. I was very lucky in this instance, but I would definitely check, do some research. I checked as well, just in case. Ask them what they can do and how they can help you if you are going to buy this set, because they were very, very friendly. Customer service were lovely. That is my review of the Ray Morris travel set, the limited edition between Ray Morris and Yoshiki. This is the Yoshiki limited edition pro travel set. I do not have any doubt that this is one of my favourite purchases of this year. It is stunning. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to leave your comments. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.